Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Wale. And I love you. And I want you. Hey guys, this is Bella J, and in today's video, I am doing a vlog. So, I've been talking about vlogging for a very, very long time now. But I just never get around to doing it because honestly, I make excuses. But I decided that I'm just going to start my vlog. And at this very moment in time, it is currently my birthday and it's November 7th, 2018. It's a Wednesday and it's 7.25 p.m. Now you're probably wondering like, why in the world are you vlogging? at night and it's because I don't really have a reason I just like I said I didn't want to make excuses anymore and low-key my mom is trying to act like I don't know that she bought me cake because when she came in the house she was like talking to my brother on the phone because my brother's at work talking about John and she was like asking him where he's at Cause I guess they were planning this for maybe all day not not that long <laughs> but she went and got a cake and um and then she gonna tell me well today you're not gonna be keto like I know what you're up to it's okay this is kind of a mini get ready with me I'm not actually doing anything I just took a shower I plan on carrying this vlog into tomorrow just because it's not really gonna be too much footage from today like if I would have vlogged a lot earlier then it would have been different but tomorrow I actually want to show you guys this keto burrito that I've been eating because we actually found some tortillas that are low in net carbs and that's what keto is based around I'll probably further explain it tomorrow when I show you guys how to make it as of right now like I really I don't want to talk too much about it until I actually show y'all because it'd be pointless but uh, i'm kind of doing like a mini curly hair routine right now like this is what i do to my hair when i get out the shower sometimes as for like the past few days i haven't been doing it because if you guys watched my last video i just uploaded it like two three hours ago but um in my last video i've been doing that same ponytail for like the last three days or at least the slick back like on sunday i think i just did I attempted to do the ponytail, but I had to take it out because it honestly slipped in the store. Because I don't have any bobby pins. Like, I don't know where they went, but they're gone. So, pretty much my products haven't changed. Like, I have these mini bottles of Garnier Fructis. This is the green kind. It's for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. It describes my hair to a T. And I always use this because I like how, I like how much definition that it gives. I had a bigger bottle of this, but I don't know where it went. I'm losing everything, honestly. That might be my fault. It might be my nephew's fault, if I'm being honest. But yeah, I just take it. And I used to, like when I was younger, I used to put my hair in sections. But now that I'm older and I'm lazy, I'm not okay I guess I am lazy but now that I'm older I just don't be having like as much patience as I guess I had or really it's just that when I was when I was younger that was the way people were doing it on YouTube like they were sectioning their hair off and then putting the product in and now that I kind of pretty much know how my hair works I don't even bother anymore I just put in as much product as I feel like I need and kind of you really feel how much you need because it's certain parts of my hair that's like really dry like the middle gets dry first I never focus any products on the middle though ever um I mainly focus it on the front because that's what people see. You're oh my gosh, if you're if you're like a loyal subscriber, I know you remember my first ever curly hair routine where my hair looked just like this, like I parted it like this and everything. I look the same. Literally in this exact moment. I look the same except I'm not in the bathroom. But if you guys remember that, that was crazy. And my hair looks so bad because I've been doing it in that slick back for the past few days. And that's so terrible for my hair because, like, my hair gets really loose being pulled back like that. 
like the curls in the front especially and another thing is i don't do swoops how i used to do them like you know how people use well people still do it but i don't do it anymore because i just don't find it necessary i feel like it's too much and honestly i'm not cutting my edges anymore like i used to when i first started youtube i cut my edges so that i could have baby hairs but now i'm not gonna cut them anymore because it's honestly too much work to be doing 18 swoops every day on my head and i'm not cutting my sideburns either like i used to i used to cut this part too so i could have this little curl but i'm not doing that anymore because that's just it's too time consuming you know it's just way too time consuming even do my parts like this I don't honestly know what I'm doing why you mentioned me why sis mention me I'm doing the most right now people sharing my posts y'all love me this year I, I don't know like so many people are just reaching out to me but I'm definitely grateful for everyone who has reached out to me because like it's been a really rough year but God is sovereign, okay? He's awesome. He's mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Anyways, but I simplified my curly hair routine by like 8,000. And I now just use this oil right after I put this in. I use any kind of conditioner, honestly, because it really doesn't matter. I mean, it does, but like it doesn't. It kind of just depends on my mood and what I find. And then I'm going to use this anti-breakage serum because my hair, it just needs some love. It needs some care. It needs something. Ah, my, my glasses. My glasses are still broke, by the way, if anybody's wondering. Like, I got them fixed, and then they broke again. I don't think it was my fault. I think, well, the screw just fell out, so they're not broken. They're just loose. But yeah, now I'm about to go mess with my sister, so I'll see you guys downstairs. No, it gets really cold there. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe I lean back on the yeah. steps so you don't fall down. Because we don't got no railing. Where's the boat? He sleep? What? I go to sleep at the same time every day. You right. Say hey, lady. Don't do that. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and go like my last post. I f listen, let me tell y'all something about these pictures, okay? It took me. How long did it take me? Maybe like an hour? It took me forever to get these pictures to come out like this. Well, the editing took all night, but I actually took these pictures by myself. And I mean, maybe you can kind of tell because they kind of look like selfies, but okay, it's tilted. It. But like I was trying to say about the pictures, I took those pictures by myself in my room right after I did the look because usually when I record makeup videos, I like to do them in the daytime and like daylight so that I don't have to do a whole film setup. But unfortunately, by the time that I decided to do the makeup look that I did yesterday, it was like five o'clock and daylight saving time was sunday so i lost an hour so i had to do it in my room and i was like you know i really want some epic pictures like i don't want just some regular iphone pictures i want to challenge myself and i want to start taking my own selfies so we're well, not selfies pictures so i set my tripod up and i just found out recently that my tripod can actually turn like in a portrait so i set all of my pictures up portrait because honestly it makes me look slimmer yes i'm a catfish but <laughs> It was just, it came out so nice. Like, I was really impressed by, like, how nice it came out. And I figured out why my pictures come out blurry. So, like, all of my clients, all of my past clients, I apologize. Because it was my fault and it was something that I didn't know. So, I'm definitely glad and blessed that I did the photo shoot that I did yesterday. Because now I figured out how to get my pictures to come out right and nice and tight. And now everybody who books me will be satisfied because I was. So yeah i'm about to look at the cake i knew it it's an ice cream cake huh hey. what happened what you talking about that's it right there that's it right there <coughs> she 
you got me. I'm being childish today. I know I turned 20, but I'm still childish. Okay, so I thought I was going to be making the burrito tomorrow, but I'm hungry. So this is the brand that we use for the um, low-carb tortillas. Let's see if it's going to focus. Yes, focus. Get it in, keto eaters. Okay, so it's six grams of net carbs, what you're seeing on the thing. And um, the way that they do net carbs is by the carbohydrates. So you look at the total carbohydrates and it's 19 and then the dietary fiber is 13. So the way that you do it is that it's not actually 19 carbs. It's actually 6. So you subtract 19 from 13 and you get 6 because the dietary fiber does not matter. And then also if you guys are doing um, the keto that tracks the protein like me. The protein is only 5 grams, and I only had one of these today, so I'm going to eat another one, because I'm home. And now I'm just about to toast my, my bread. Don't do this to help kids. Okay. And then, um, I cook the cheese and the eggs, and then and I cook the bacon separate, them. and then you just put it together. So. Okay, I got my plate. I ain't finna overcook these cause nobody got time for that. I'm hungry now. So, is this is what, me? no. This is what they should look like. That wasn't even a good thumbnail, but this is what they should look like after they're toasted. I don't like this lighting. I'm about to do my eggs. You like my popcorn is Who cares about this popcorn? I told y'all my sister is partially keto. So I have my four eggs. I'm going to do two eggs for each. Now, um, I heard that... What? Okay, I don't know why I did that. But I heard that... It's, it's a lot of protein in eggs. But I like my eggs, so... What you're not going to do is judge me. As long as they don't go with my protein limit. I'm fine. Hey, what's up? Burnt it's probably burning because you probably burn some of that tortilla off. Okay, I got my eggs cooking. I got my cheese. I usually put the cheese in the like actual bowl, but today I don't care. So I got my cheese. This is regular American cheese. I don't care. It's not that special. So I have this. This is my mother's. Um, I'm not gonna use this because she watches my videos. So I have this. I don't know what this is, but I use it. And you just whip it up. You know what I'm saying? And then you turn the fire down. These are the eggs. I'm going to put half here. The other half. Okay, so we use the same pan around here. Ain't no shame in my game, okay? Ain't nobody washing 10 dishes. Make sure to get the bottom. All right, so now on to the bacon. This bacon is thick sliced bacon. Hickory smoked. Uh, so the key is not to eat. Like, the key to not eating that much bacon is to cut it. Um, I found that the easiest way for me not to overeat is when I cut stuff and I make my brain think that I probably shouldn't have did that. I make my brain think that it's more than what it really is. I learned this at a young age because I used to be hungry or at least I would think I was hungry just because I ate too fast. So that's when I just start to cut stuff. And me personally, like, I feel like my family be hating on me because, like, they don't like my eggs. I mean, not my eggs, my, um, my bacon. Like, they don't like the fact that I, I don't like my bacon super crispy. Like, I like it to be a little crispy, but not super crispy. 
Yeah, and they just be hating on me. Hey, you make it be wrong. No, it don't be raw. Shut up. Clear American, if you're watching, sponsor me. What's that recording? Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is the finished product. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail in. Okay, it's not even a mukbang. I'm just doing it. So while I'm just sitting here, where are they even at? They, they just disappeared. I'm sitting here with my sister. We just talking. We hear fireworks. In November. It's November. What is y'all fireworking for? I said what I said. Bloody Mitchell TV. I they're popping fireworks like again. Card, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why. Way. And why do they still have fireworks? Why are fireworks still being sold? Can somebody answer? Because I don't have an answer. I don't, I don't have one. My face feels oily. I cannot. So my camera is upstairs. I mean, my camera just died and my battery is upstairs. So I'm not going to get it. But this is the cake though. Bye, yeah, it's good. Bye, Why you take my last Oreo? <laughs> I'm, I'm eating anyway. You eat? Just say hey. What's up, YouTube? It's like no, ah. And it said for connection too. I'm screaming. Okay. okay. Uh, what you not gonna do is say okay on my channel. Okay, because. Mm -mm. Do that on your channel. Stay tuned. <laughs> Say what up to my vlog. So I need to take a nap. I do need to take a nap. A real nigga been working all day. What up, though? He missed out on cake ice cream. No, I didn't. Unless you ate it all. Oh, heck no. You trying to hold me. You know what I'm saying? Then I ain't miss out. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog for today. I will be First vlogging. Week. John, shut up. I will be vlogging again First this week. week. I am going out this Saturday. I am also going out Friday. I will not be vlogging that because I'm using my big camera for a photo shoot. So, with that being First said, week. make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, turn on the post notification <laughs> bell because y'all know YouTube be playing. Also, follow me on all of my social media because I just uploaded some fire today like I showed y'all. <clears throat> it's always in the description box below. So it's at the end of the video on this side. And that is all. That is it. Bye. Have faith in a young OG. Have faith in do a B I G. Yeah.